Hey guys, it's Bam. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to use CC Scatterize, which uh, you've just seen is the effect that uh, makes your um, makes the video sort of separate into particles and do um, and twist. So uh, this is just a standard plugin that comes with After Effects. So you don't have to worry as long as you have CS5, you've got it. So what we want to do is just start for the shot here. We sort of want to add add a little in. So what you can do is either have it on like a clip that just continues normally, or you can use it as a transition. Say so like here, I wanted to skip a little bit to just skip the little space between the kills, or you can use it like uh, they're about to get a kill, and then it does CC scatterize into a kill cam. So what we want to do is just about about here, we want to add uh, on that layer. Make sure on this layer here, and go effect simulation and then CC scatterized and so we come up with these bars here so scatter right twist left twist and transfer mode which we don't worry about so what we want to do is go ahead and just keyframe scatter right twist and left twist and we'll press E and then press down on this arrow so we've got it here what we want to do is at the end of the clip we want to choose how much it's spun around so like you can see here it just spins around like this so you can choose as much what I like to do and it makes it easy is um, you pick 360 so that's basically just one here so what you're doing is you can do like just does that that amount of spins and just connect so that the um, right edge goes right around and then hits the other side and what we also want to do is probably uh, we'll increase the scatter yeah, so we we'll increase it probably about, about probably about 55 there we go so that looks pretty scattered okay also what happens is uh, if this happens to you just you can make a black solid and put it on the bottom so you can see what it will render like so it'll be like this yeah okay so from now on we have a bit of a choice so on this what we want to do is go uh, we'll hide this one but on that the next layer or if it's the same one press effect simulation and scatterize so we're just gonna go to this here and we'll keyframe all of these okay and we'll probably drag it to about here so this is where it'll finish okay that's all there so we've got our spins off the right one so either what you can do is we can make uh, the right one one and we'll change the scatter to 55 so either you can make it like spin around on the, the right one and then Oh, what happened there? And we got to make sure that we're not selecting multiple keyframes when we choose this. So we choose this to back to zero. So it will spin on the right and then change direction. But it also looks pretty cool. If we change the right to zero again, so it's got no spins, we change to left. Make sure we're not selecting both keyframes and change the left to one. You can either pick it as one on one times or just go zero times 360 degrees. It's the same thing. So what we have is here, we spin around on the right, and then we continue on the left, and then we get it, and then we go back into the clip. So either you can do it uh, like on one clip, and just to do a cool effect, or you can do it to skip a little gap, or go into a kill count or something. So that's pretty much the extent of uh, the effect today, CC Scatterize. Um, I have used it in a couple of montages. Um, it's just a cool, it's not very noticeable, but it's just a cool little effect that you can put in. And uh, yeah, so if you didn't know how to do it, um, yeah, maybe give it a like if you like the tutorial. And uh, thanks for listening and watching. Um, leave a comment if you have any more tutorials. I won't be able to do any more. Uh, well, I probably won't be able to do any more for a couple of weeks. Just if you don't know about that, then I've got a video up at the moment um, about what's happening. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you.